guys see that one? Alright, you have any it's called lightning. Uh, no, actually, it's called electricity. If you want to get technical, smart boy. Ah, oh, oh, get off. Sorry, right, to sleep, idiot. Oh, no. No, I don't want to stay up long and watch the rest of the store. Maybe if we're lucky, we can get electrocuted. Why, so we can watch you drool like a vegetable? My uncle got electrocuted once. He was, like, watching ESPN or something, and, like, all of a sudden this bolt, like, went right through the screen, and it hit him in the arm. Wow, what happened? Well, uh, he had to go to the hospital with third-degree burns. Cool. Hey, Randy, why don't you go stand in front of that TV? <laughs> Almost funny. Uh, moving on to more intelligent conversation. Larry, right, why don't you tell us a bedtime story? I don't know any bedtime stories. I'm sure you do. Why don't you tell us a story about, you know, one of those cults you researched in Mr. Pearson's history class. You know, the one A plus plus plus. Well, it was mostly about, like, civilizations in Haiti, but there was this one that practiced voodoo. Well, go ahead. Tell us about that one. Uh, can we go to bed soon? Cream off! Very right, go ahead. Well, um, there's this tribe. They call themselves the Growly. And they're all into, like, this life after dead and, like, death and, like, resurrection crap. And, like, one day these two tribesmen, they're, they're hunting on the island, and they found this huge rock. So they uncovered it. There's this huge cave inside, and there's, like, there's, like, I call this black powder on the walls. Like, some meteor had hit the whole area. And, uh... One of the tribesmen went in there but never came out, and they never found him until later that night he came back, and his, his skin was, like, all pale and stuff, and uh, it's like he walked wicked slow, and he started, like, eating people, and, like, the other people that, like, survived, that got bit, they, like, turned into uh, zombies, I guess, themselves, and then all of a sudden the entire island was covered with them. Whoa, what happened after that? Well, like, a few of the uh, tribes people left the island alive, they came back with flint, oil, and wood, burnt the whole place down. Oh yeah, there's a believable story for you. Oh, oh, that's right, you were there. No. So how do you know it isn't true? Uh, because these stories aren't supposed to be taken literally. Uh -huh. Besides, I saw this story on PBS about voodoo, uh -huh. and how they use this drug to yep. make people appear as being dead, okay. but still walk around, yep. like zombies. Uh huh. And if you don't mind, I have to get my sleep. Oh, it's okay, Martin. You have to explain yourself. We know a woman your age needs her beauty sleep. No idea. I've got a job to go to tomorrow, but I guess it's impossible to explain a concept, you know, like responsibility to you. <laughs> responsibility? Oh, wait a minute. I get it. That's right. Barry's story must have made you really afraid. So you're using your dad's back-end friend as an excuse not to have to hear any more bad stories. A, I'm not scared. B, I'm tired and I've been working all day. And C, Maury is not my father's back-end friend. He's one of the few people that helped me when my parents left home. He gave me and my brother Steve jobs at the supermarket. Martin, do you hear something? I think they're coming right now. They're right outside the window. Hold on, Martin, listen to me. Martin, they're scaling the walls right now. Oh, I need to feed the kid. He's through the yes. window any second now. Where else is he going to get We're an dead. education? We're not going to make it. Good night, Randy. We can tear off our flesh. Oh, guys, I'm really scared. Ah! What a baby. <laughs>